this video we're going to learn how to graph a function using the TI Inspire CX. So first we need a graphing window. When you open the graphing window, a entry line will show up at the bottom of your graph and you can go ahead and enter in the formula you want. So I put in 3x minus 2, hit enter key and it graphed the line for us. Now if we control escape and go backwards the entry line goes away so we need to get it back so we select control G which brings it back up and we can put in a different equation let's say 3x minus 5 and hit enter and it graphs it again. Say we wanted to change that equation we didn't like it. There are several ways to do this. The first way is you can click on the label and then just delete it and enter in a new equation negative 2x plus 3. Hit the enter key and there she is. Now let's undo this and see how you can do this very same thing using the menus. So again we're going to select menu and number three which is graph entry exit and number one function. Just as before we have the entry line there let's just put in f of x equals two. Let's hit control G again and it'll bring up another line if we wanted to put a different function in there for say three minus x and we have a new equation there. If I hit control G again, on the right hand side there's a way to see all the functions that you've put in. So I'm going to click on the first one and change it. Hit enter and I've changed the function. Now let's undo what I've just done and we're going to show you a different way to graph. Again, we're going to select menu, except this time we're going to uh, pick three and then number two equation, and let's stick with lines. So I'm going to select number one and then select the first one, which is a line and slope intercept form. So many times you'll see a graph given to you this way, so it's very convenient. You just drop in the numbers and then hit enter and graph. Let's undo this and show you vertical lines. Now vertical lines are a neat feature from the TI Inspire CX that you can't do with a 83 or 84 so this is really a, a big improvement over the, those models. So I'm going ahead and put in x equals 4 and there she is and let's undo that and go ahead and graph one from standard form. So I'm going to go to the very same place, three and then two, one for a line and now we'll select number three for standard form and we'll go ahead and put in a positive one and a negative one and a four and that should uh, graph another line. And just as we saw in the previous, if I hit control G, it'll bring up the next entry line. I can then click on the little chevron and it'll bring up the previous entries as well, if that's what we wanted to do. So hopefully this helps you graph your lines. And again, if you have any questions, come see one of your teachers.